Welcome to Casual Nerd Reactions. Today we're watching, no, we're starting a brand new series of Doctor Who. It's series four. I don't know how I could be more excited than I am today. Starting this series is very exciting. I know Catherine Tate is back as Donna, and that's all I needed to know. I mean, honestly, the fact that it's Doctor Who is all I needed to know, but uh, bringing Donna back is a, is a pretty big uh, appeal. She was so funny in Runaway Bride, and uh, I'm curious what in the world is going to prompt or cause her to actually go with the Doctor this time. I don't know her story. I don't know anything really about her what this is going to happen. Listen, that, that's always true with Doctor Who. Even when I think I know <laughs> expectations subverted almost successfully every single time. And so I'm ready to start this episode. I don't even know the title. Let's jump into it right now for the very first time. Right into the theme. I'm still with the kind of rocked out vibe. I actually really love this and the subtle urgency of the strings there. Opening scene, Donna and the Doctor. Whoa. She gonna recognize them. She's starting a new job. This music is great, very whimsical, kind of engaging, almost like a spy. Donna Noble, health and safety. Donna Noble. Did I know her last name was Noble? I don't know. Safety. They're both health and safety. One capsule once a day for three weeks. And the fat, as they say. Sounds like a scam. The fat just walks away. Nope, that's not how anything in life works. Penny Carter, science correspondent Ooh, for The Penny Observer. Carter. How do we know the fat isn't going straight into your bank account? Oh, Penny, if cynicism burnt up calories, we'd all be as thin as rakes. Down to a large protein molecule. The mo Does the doctor even know Donna's here? How many people have taken the pills to date? Oh, these are probably alien pills. One million customers. What? We deliver within three working days. Josh registered Smith, post. Safety, don't mind me. Full information pack and our special free gift. An added post industries pendant. I just need to keep this for testing and I just need a list of your customers. Could you print it off? Lovely. That's a printer there. Right. They just keep missing each other. You'll be replaced. <laughs> if anyone's good at trimming the fat, it's me. That's a good line, actually. Thanks, then. See ya. Thanks, then. Oh, what's that? My telephone number? Yeah. Oh. Health and safety. You be health, I'll be safety. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, come on! Name's Donna. I represent Adipose Industries. And you're on the list of our valued customers. I'm calling on behalf of Adipose Industries. I started the pills on Thursday. Five days later, I've lost 11 pounds. Really? I've been on the pills two weeks now. I've lost 14 kilos. That's the same amount every day. It's gone by 10 past one in the morning. What makes you say that? That's when I get woken up. Might as well weigh myself at the same time. Without fail, huh. the burglar alarm goes off. Have you got a cat flap? Here when I bought the house. I, I'm not a cat person. No, I've met cat people. You're nothing like them. <laughs> that was a good line. They let things out as well. Like what? The pound? The fat just walks the away. The fat literally just walks away. Whoa. New forest. That's how I really want to... Uh oh. Unscheduled parthenogenesis. Unscheduled. What? Gotta go, sorry. That's a new device. Looks fun. You're not supposed to see it walk away. What? <laughs> that looked like more than a pound. The adipose has been witnessed. Activating full parthenogenesis. <gasps> They're gonna kill her. I can't believe this hasn't been witnessed before now. Oh. The thing Donna was playing with caused it. Is it alright in there? Oh. Uh -huh. What is it? What's wrong? <laughs> no! <laughs> is any part of her still Stacy? Oh, how'd they get away so fast? <laughs> One stayed back to wave. <laughs> So I love this show. Like, I don't have any idea what's actually happening here, but it's so fun. It's so interesting. Also, the added dynamic of the Doctor and Donna both running around, knowing at some point they're going to run into each other, but not knowing when. I assume any moment. Oh. 
Come on. Oh, come on. No! Are they gonna leave us dangling? Ah. <laughs> All right, fine. Someone must have introduced a second roll capsule. Oh, yes, there she is. Ah, they're on to Donna. What should we do with her? I vote let her live and a happy life. And what time's this? How old am I? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Where's Grandad? Always up the hill. Up the hill. So I bet she gets along with Grandad a lot better than Mom. Well, she nagging you. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. yeah, come and see. Come on. There you go. One day. Jingling about with all them aliens. Just you wait. You really believe in all that stuff, don't you? <laughs> They're all over the place these days. I suppose you've seen a little blue box. Ooh. If you ever see She's been thinking about a blue it. box flying up there in the sky, you shout for me, Gramps. Oh, you just shout. Interesting. She's changed a lot since we last saw her. You seem to be drifting, sweetheart. I'm not drifting. I'm waiting. What for? The right man. I love how they've kind of built this but up a little bit. He's real. I've seen him. I've met him just once. I let him fly away. Regret. He's nowhere. He's closer than you think. And I'll find him, Gramps. Probably today. Probably before the episode's over. We'll see. Seems to be a bioflip digital stitch specifically for... He realizes no one he's to talk to. He's alone. It's not better this way. I turn for the car. What do you need it for? She's in a little blue car. He's in a little blue box. Come on! Another near miss. She'll come back. She is back. Thankfully, she's hiding, kind of. And luckily, they don't know about the doctor. The music is such a vibe this week. Murray Gold, killing it. Every time. But I need the car. I'm going out with Suzette. Apparently, she's been on those adipose pills. Oh, no. Ah. Those are some serious guns. Can you make this nice and easy and show yourself? Ah, uh, this is it. The doctor's gonna have to save her, yes? Get her. Oh. There you are. That's... Oh, my gosh. Of course. Oh, Penny. Well, how long was Penny in there with Donna? Well, the doctor's gonna save someone at some point, for sure. He's really good at it. You can't tie me up. What sort of a country do you think this is? It's a beautifully fat country. Has she been to America? This is the spark of life. I love that he's using a stethoscope to listen in, by the way. I am surprised you never asked about my name. I chose it well. Foster. And these... Oh, my children. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell is that? He's like, I gotta see. From They're both looking up. They saw each other! Yes! That goof, stay focused. <laughs> I love how we know exactly what they're saying so far. It's me. I, I see that. I was looking for you. For me. What for? <laughs> I imagine everyone else is just like watching them at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Interrupting you. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's using a zip line, except very much not. Seriously, machine guns? Like what? Not me. Sit tight. Yay. <laughs> Don't you ever change? <laughs> yeah, thanks to the Immediately a nag. That's so funny. I'm very curious to see how the Donna, how the Donna, how the Donna and Doctor get along. <laughs> what their dynamic 
turns into. I believe it all now. You open my eyes. All those amazing things out there, I believe them all. Well, apart from that replica of the Titanic flying over Buckingham Palace on Christmas Day, I mean, that's got to be a hoax. <laughs> <laughs> but if we go down in that, they'll just call us back up again. No, 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 because a lot of the controls on the Sonic cage, I'm the only one who can control it. Just move. And she's got a Sonic device of her own, which is very unlikely. Oh my gosh, she does. Who is this lady? Yup. Well, I, she didn't try to pull him back up. She was just like faster. Ooh, long range Sonic. Lush it then. <laughs> oh, nice try. Oh, wow, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't unsonic that Sonic. <laughs> Donna! They brought her back just to kill her immediately. Dad gummit. For the other one. Yeah, that's a surefire way to succeed in killing them, I guess. There we go. Ooh, yes! And now he has two sonic devices. Is he gonna give it to Donna? Can you open that window? I feel like a lot of times these windows wouldn't open. But it's going to right now. That's great. I'm glad. Time you found out who he is. Some wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff? We haven't had much of that this week so far. Is anyone gonna tell me what's going on? Are you journalists? Yes. We'll make it up. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's always like this week. <laughs> oh, yes. And off we go. Yay. Oh, sorry, Penny. You don't get to come. I mean, I mean, if you hadn't ran into a, the, the, the Donna, which apparently is what I call her now, Penny would have been a prime companion candidate. Partners in crime. <laughs> And evidently off-worlders, judging by your sonic technology. Matron Cophelia of the Five Straight and Classabindi Nursery Fleet. Nursery Fleet? Intergalactic class. A wet nurse. Seeding a level five planet is against galactic law. Are you threatening me? Someone should. I'm trying to help you, Matron. This is your one chance. You should take it. Do you know what happens if you hold two identical sonic devices against each other? No. Nor me. Let's find out. <laughs> Well, supersonic, right? Woo! I'm advancing the birth plan. And there's a million, cause like a million people are about to die, basically, right? She wired up a tower block. What's it all for? Inducer online. Hmm. Still on your own? Yeah. I had this friend Martha, she was called. Martha Jones, she was brilliant. I destroyed half her life. Must have been mad turning down that offer. What offer? To come with you. Come with me? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> he wasn't actually asking then, but I think you should, obviously. One million birthdays. Ooh. <laughs> I love that from just one little pill. Oh, of course, Donna's mom is with one of the people that are about to be adiposed. So Oh no. Oh no. There's barely anything even left of this man. Oh. They all do seem really friendly little aliens. Oh, you ran some of them over. A million people are gonna die. Yeah, with, we can stop it, yeah? This contains a primary signal. If we can switch it off, the fact goes back to being just fact. Ooh. There's nothing wrong with letting the ones that already walked away continue to walk away. No, 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 she's double it, honey. It's too far, I can't override it. They're all gonna die. Me, what do you need? I need a second capsule to boost the override, but- That is something she has. Brilliant. And this is why she definitely gets invited again. Awesome. Let's just not kill a million people, you know? Like, I would donate some fat to give some little cute uh, aliens. Whatever. We've still given birth to 10,000 adipose, and the nursery's coming. Oh no, that sounds scarier than it should. The nursery's coming, like... <laughs> this is... This, I mean, this episode's obviously really leading into the absurd qualities that Doctor Who has sometimes, but like... It really works. It's so entertaining. Whoa, the nursery is terrifying. Oh, come on, Grandpa. Oh, he's gonna miss it. No. Incoming signal. Coming 
Christ. Destruction from that opposing first family. I am taking you home. <laughs> Look at and you will fly. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I can't wait. What's happening? Oh, that's cool. It's a great image. Blow them up. They're just children. They can't know where they came from. Yeah. Oh, that makes a change from last time. <laughs> that Martha must have done you good. Ah, oh, she did, yeah. She fancied me. <laughs> hey, she has a diet plan. It sort of works. <laughs> as long as you don't end with murder. It's all the Adiposian instructions. They know it's a crime. Breeding on Earth. I'm Nanny. Mum and Dad have got the kids now. They don't need the Nanny anymore. Uh oh. Oh. Woo! <laughs> the sound effects. <laughs> Quality. Oh. Did he just throw out the pen? Tardis! Come on. I love that she's essentially inviting herself. Unless... So close. Once an invitation is offered, it's always open, right? I've got to be prepared. <laughs> it's a funny old life. In the TARDIS. You don't want me. I'm He's that. resigned to being alone. Would you rather be on your own? Actually, no. I love that it's raining. I just want a mate. You just want two mates. No. I just no. want a mate. <laughs> Oh, no! Mate, I want a friend! Change the word. A long streak of nothing. <laughs> you know, alien nothing. There we are then. I want more of their misunderstandings. I can come. Ah. Never had any doubt. I still got my mom's car keys. I'll be a minute. Look, there's a bin on Brook Street about 30 <laughs> feet from the corner. I'm going to leave them in there. A tall blonde woman called Sylvia. Tell her that bin there. All right, it'll make sense. That bin there. What the frick? What the fr- what, what- what in the Rose is going on? How was Rose here? It was just like a projection from another universe? I don't know what to make of that. Where'd you wanna go? Well, first to the future, then to the past. That's the pattern. Two and a half miles that way. Aww. She wants to be seen by her grandpa. Is she gonna like wave from the TARDIS? <laughs> it's so good. So good. So good. Y'all, this episode was absolutely fantastic. Um, obviously, you have like the, I don't even want to call it the A plot. Like you have the plot with the little aliens. I'm trying to turn the TV off and it's taking longer than usual. You have the, the plot with like the little baby aliens and like that plot's okay. It's not the best Doctor Who plot in the world, but like, it doesn't matter. It's a fun and enjoyable enough plot, maybe to keep the kids engaged, you know, and then you have like the real plot with the Doctor, Donna, her grandpa, uh, Rose, reiterating a couple of like beats from the Martha storyline, which by the way, um, I've really thought a lot more about just Martha's whole storyline from the last series and... Uh, you know, someone in the comments just said, like, it really is a true unrequited love story. And I, I've decided I really just overall love the kind of plot arc that we had with the doctor truly loving Rose and then kind of moving on with Martha, sort of, and not able to return those feelings. And I love Martha kind of in the end, truly recognizing, hey, you know what, this is. I mean, I'm going to talk a little bit about it then, but how, like, just truly, this isn't a good situation for me, and I need to move on. And I just, I love, I decided I really love that story, and I don't know what the future holds for the Doctor, and I don't know if I'll ever, like, root for the Doctor in, like, a romance department way, like, whatever. That's a part of the show, I guess, but it, it's not the part that, like, interests me most. Maybe I will get invested in something someday, who's to say, but... Uh, it's just such a great show. Okay, I genuinely liked all the characters we met this week with the matron, Penny, Donna's grandpa, and of course, Donna herself and the doctor, and I just liked them all. I liked everybody, okay? I would love to see all of them again. Uh, I don't think it's possible to see Miss Foster ever again. I'm pretty sure she... <clears throat> I mean, there's a reason we didn't see her body, okay? It wouldn't be appropriate for a show such as Doctor Who. Mm. 
I just imagined she looked like a puddle of goo. Okay, that's what I'm imagining. I even liked all the little aliens. Like, they were cute. They reminded me of, um, well, most, I mean, there's probably a lot of things they would strike memories of. But most recently, the little uh, marshmallow dudes in the new Ghostbusters films. Uh, adorable. What are you going to do? I like the, the overall storyline of Donna. Like, look, she's been looking for the doctor. She did regret not going. And I love that about her. I like that she was looking for the doctor. I like that she sort of inserted herself. Like, I'm going. And, and the doctor took a minute and kind of like, well, you know. And she's going. Okay. Um. It's fantastic, but Rose, um, are we going to see more of Rose this season? <laughs> Rose, Rose, Rose. I honestly don't know what to think. So she wasn't in our universe, but there was like, did she somehow? Uh, I like to think on the spinoff of Rose that we never got to see that she's discovered a way to project herself into another universe. And that happened. And that's what we were seeing there. It actually was a, a deleted scene from the episode at the season finale where she learned how to cross into our universe briefly. Right. Um, deleted scene from a deleted show. Don't worry about it. But like, I assume that is at the very least a teaser that we are going to see Rose again in some capacity this season. And I... Man, if that's not true, I will be so disappointed. But I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to bet anything that it is true and I'm looking forward to the day. So is it is it tomorrow? Should I just binge the whole season right now so that um I can get to that episode? No, of course not. I actually genuine I I know there's a lot of folks out there, hi, who would really love for me to release episodes more quickly. And uh, in a way, I did increase the pace a little bit. I release, well, my, my, my goal is to release six episodes of a TV show a month. Um, but with, with the Hooniverse, since I'm doing Torchwood, I'm doing the Sarah Jane Adventures. It works out to, like, I think, 10 episodes of the Hooniverse a month, but only four-ish, uh, maybe a little more of Doctor Who, because Sarah Jane's getting the extra episode right now. But the Sarah Jane. I just want to call everybody the today. The, the point here is I genuinely love um, taking my time and watching kind of weekly. I haven't watched a show like that in a really long time. And I just think of like so many shows that I've watched in a binge model, and I just kind of like, that's not that I lose interest. I just stop watching, and I don't even think about it. And it's really been so fun for me watching shows like this. It's, I feel like it keeps me more engaged and more interested and more invested. It gives me time to really think about and ponder and engage with the comments and talk with you all. Uh, and and it, it's just so fun. And so anyway, the point here is I love Doctor Who and I am so glad that I get to share this experience with you. If you're enjoying this journey with me and would like to support the channel, then check me out as a YouTube channel member. You can watch two months early access or over on Patreon where you can add full episode reactions. Check it out if you want to, but I'll see you either way in the next one. Bye.